Hey, 3631 Tactical. Today we're going to install an XS Big Dot Sight on a Remington 870 shotgun. Now I'm installing this on the shotgun for a friend. Um, I already have this sight on my shotgun and I, I really like it. So I'm going to go and open up the package here and show you, give you a close up look of the uh, sight. Here the sight is right here. Get a close up of that. If you can see that white ring that's around there, that's really, uh, you can really see that good. My eyes are really drawn to that when I'm shooting. And that little dot in the center is actually a tritium, uh, it's a tritium night sight. So when it gets dark, you have a night sight on the end of your shotgun. And these things are real easy to install. Let's go ahead and uh, install it real quick for you. All right, like we said, this is very easy to install. Probably the first thing you wanna do is you wanna clean up your sight bead here, just in case you have any, um, any cleaning products, any oil, any petroleum based products, anything that's gonna maybe not let the sight adhere to what you got on here. So clean this up real good. I just got like a little rubbing alcohol. I'm just gonna wipe that down real good, make sure there's no oil or grease or anything on there that's gonna prevent what we're trying to do here. All right, the next thing, I got some JB Weld. This is how you attach the sight. You're just going to put a little bit of JB Weld on here, attach the sight, let it, uh, let it set, and you're good. Um, I, like I said, I have this sight on my own personal shotgun, and I've had it on there for probably a good two and a half, two, two and a half years now. And I do a lot of, uh, I shoot a lot of regular, you know, like slugs and buckshot, heavier loads through my shotgun. I have no issues with this sight coming off or anything like that. This JB Weld holds it pretty good. I'm going to get this package open and we'll show you how we do this. We'll just use the back of the package, but you have a, one is steel and one is the hardener. I'm just going to take a real small drop of each of these. I'm going to put it on this piece of paper here. I'm going to mix it up real good and then we're going to use it to uh, install this site. So right here we got a little bit of the steel, real small amount. You don't need much and some of the hardener. I'm going to go ahead and put the caps back on that so we're not spilling it all over the place. Alright, now nothing fancy. I just got a, uh, a zip tie here. I'm just going to take the zip tie. And Use this to mix up the steel and the hardener of the JB Weld. Really is that easy. Now I'm just going to take my stack, or I'm sorry, rather my sight. Do is just put a little bit of this JB Weld on here. And then we just take our sight, put it on top. Put a little bit too much on there, but that always happens. So all you just do is take a little, little cloth and just wipe off the extra. Not a big deal. No big deal. One thing I do when I put this on here, you want to actually take your time and look, kind of look down the barrel of the shotgun to make sure that you do have it on here straight. Once you're sure you got it on there straight and you've cleaned up all the ex excess JB Weld, that's it. You just let it sit, harden up, and you'll be good. That sight will not come off. At least, at least mine hasn't came off in the last good two to three years of heavy use.
All right, so that's all there is to it. Um, according to the directions of the JB Weld that I have, it says it sets in four to six hours, it cures in 15 to 24 hours. Allow four to six hours before handling and 15 hours minimum before putting object back in use. So this is something if you put it on here, just you know, make sure you, you can uh, let the gun sit somewhere in a gun safe or wherever somewhere for at least a good 24 hours. Everything will harden up nice and tight and you won't have an issue with this site um, coming off or anything. So that's it. That's how you install the XS Big Dot sites. Thanks for watching.